This week, find out how to add a single legend to your matplotlib plots that have multiple subpanels. Welcome to another MatPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, I want to talk about matplotlib and how to add a legend when you have multiple subpanels. And as we'll see, the way that you expect things to work might not necessarily be what happens, but it's a pretty easy thing to correct. So let's go ahead and do our import. So I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And I'm going to import numpy as np. That'll help us make some fake data to plot. And I'm going to use my matplotlib inline magic to make sure that those figures show up in the notebook. Next, let's go ahead and make our data. In this case, I'm going to do a sine and a cosine function plotted over the interval 0 to 4 pi. The easiest way to do that is to use numpy's linspace method from 0 to 4 pi. And notice I'm using np.py for the constant, so I don't have to remember as many digits of pi as I can or type in some arbitrary number of them. And we'll create 100 points evenly spaced within that range. For our first set of y values, I'm going to compute the sine of those. And then I'm going to add some noise, which is 100 elements long and multiply it by 0.1 to get the scale to something reasonable. Next, we will create the cosine of x and add some noise to it as well. And I'm going to add a little bit more noise there. So mp.random.random is going to create a random number in the interval 0 to 1, up to but not including 1, and this says I want 100 elements. So let's go ahead and create our plot. I'm going to use unpacking syntax here and create my figure and both axes at once using plot.subplots and setting n rows equal to two. So we'll have two rows of plots in one figure and I'm calling the axes ax1 and ax2. On ax1, I'm going to plot x and y and I'm going to provide a label for my legend, which is going to be sine. We'll plot x and z. And we will label it cosine. And while I'm at it, I'm going to specify a dotted line style, a color of tableau orange. And that should be good. So if we run that cell, this is the plot we get. And now I want to add a legend. Granted, this is just some simple fake data, but I think you can see the problem. If I call ax1.legend, we get a legend just for the single axis. So we can go ahead and call ax2.legend and we get a separate legend on that axis. Now this may be the behavior that you're looking for, but you might want a single legend. Well, we can replace ax1 and ax2 with fig.legend. And that will take all of the things that have a label attribute in our plot and go ahead and make a figure legend. Now we need to position that, and we can use loc and things like upper left, upper right, or we can pass a tuple of figure relative coordinates. So in this case, we'll say something like 0 0.08 in x and 0 0.8 in y. Remember these figure relative coordinates go from zero at the left of the figure to one at the right and zero at the bottom to one at the top. So when we do that, we get something that's right up there in the corner of an axis on our figure. Another way that we can do this is to still use fig.legend, but instead of assigning the labels here in our plot calls, 
we can do so later. So if I take those out, we see that there are no handles with labels found to be put in the legend and no legend plots. But now I can save off those handles to these lines as L1 and L2. And I'll explain the comma in just a second. So now in our legend, we can pass a list of those things. So L1 and L2. a list of the labels and then our lock and we get something with the same output except here I've called it sine function and cosine function so it depends on exactly what you're trying to accomplish and where it's most convenient to assign these labels, but this is a different way to solve the same problem. But what's going on with this comma? Well, as it turns out, axe.plot returns a list that contains all of the different line plots that are in it. And there's only one in this case. We're not plotting multiple lines in a single call. So this is a way to unpack that. So we're unpacking something of one number. Let's look at a quick example to make that a little clear. So if I have a list called my list and it contains the elements three and four, I can unpack those as A and B like this. And then if I print A and B, we see that they are three and four. That would be equivalent to having two lines plotted in one plot call. But in this case, we just have one. So my list would be equal to a single element. And I don't want a list, I just want that element. So I can unpack it like this and print C. So that's exactly what's going on up above. Just we're unpacking all of the different lines, though there's only one line here. So I hope that you can see that adding a figure legend is really not that scary or complicated of a process. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do it. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.